So Anderson, that, that, Anderson, I'm not being tough. I'm just a friend standing up for another friend who I believe is innocent that merely was uh, on a uh, walk through our neighborhood that had been riddled with burglaries, uh, other crimes, break-ins to vehicles, thefts, um, some as uh, petty as robbing uh, somebody's gas grill off our backyard. But he... You had been on the neighborhood watch uh, yourself. Yes. And, and you said there, there have been a number of, of burglaries in the area. Why are you standing by him? Because there, there's a, only a, been a handful of people who know him who have really been standing up, standing Anderson, by him. And it's not an easy thing to do. Everybody wants to convict George prior to any sort of due process. You know, let's become students of facts instead of professors of myths. I'm going to share this with you. In my conversation with George on Monday, he shared with me uh, certain points, uh, not actually of the night, because I asked him, I said, George, what happened at night? He said, I can't really discuss that with you, Frank. I would love to. And I read to him the police narrative in it where uh, the attending officer or the on-site officer stated in his report that uh, he was within close contact of Mr. Zimmerman, and he noticed that his nose was bloodied, the back of his head had bruises, and his pants and the back of his jacket were wet and there was grass stains all over it. Now the question is this, this officer did not know George Zimmerman. Why, or oh, there was no real precedent for him to embellish or add to the police narrative. George wanted me to share that with the public that when I said, can I go with this? He says, stick to that story. And one other thing that was critical, he said that, uh, that he was yelling for help it's in the police report, and that no one would help him. There's been um, d difference of opinion over who it was yelling for, for help. Trayvon Martin's mother insists that that is her son's voice mm -hmm. yelling for help. Uh, one eyewitness said uh, that, that they believed it was Trayvon Martin yelling for help. Another says it was George Zimmerman. So there, there's been a difference of opinion of that. And again, mm -hmm. a lot of the facts of this case aren't known. But what, it, I mean, well, let me just spell what is George Zimmerman like, as, as you know him? George was a uh, model neighbor. He was caring, and in his uh, caring, he took on a role that was totally voluntary. He did not receive any compensation. He wanted to ensure the safety of all the residents in, my, uh, tw in the Twin Lakes. You complex. didn't know, though, he was carrying a gun? Um, no. So you had been on, on a neighbor watch before, but when you were on the watch, you weren't carrying a gun? No. The most I would probably have carried would be pepper spray or... Uh, something non-lethal. Do you think, I mean, this is going to go to trial, assuming it goes to trial, assuming there's not a plea deal, do you think he will get a fair trial, and, and, and do you think he will be vindicated? Absolutely. He'll be exonerated of all charges. You have no doubt about that? No doubt. Um, and the reason why I say that is I wanted to share this with you, Anderson. He said, Frank, he said there's truth in the 911 tapes. And let me just spell one thing up front. When George called Sanford dispatch that night, he did not call in on a 911 line. He wanted me to share that with you. It was a non-emergency line. Mm -hmm. And the prior calls on one of them on February 2nd, three weeks before Trayvon was shot, was a call that uh, my home was being burglarized. And due to the diligence and the efforts of George Zimmerman, my friend, who will be exonerated, he helped stop that burglary by staying in a position of surveillance. He called Sanford police and he shared this with me on Monday. And also, he ID'd the person who was attempting to break into my house as the same person that did burglarize a neighbor of mine just four doors down five days later. Mm -hmm. And here's the, here's the best twist of all. That person resided in our complex just four or five houses down. 